a member of an organised cannabis factory raiding gang, accidentally shot a man in the chest who was trying to protect the crop. Gasha Mayala then also accidentally shot himself in the leg with the weapon. Mayala is 28 of Sheffield, who had previously been acquitted of attempted murder and wounding with intent, but was convicted of possessing a firearm with intent to commit robbery following a trial at Birmingham Crown Court and he was jailed for 11 years. Abdul Yeslim of Sheffield, who also admitted aggravated burglary, was sentenced to six years and eight months. There was a third defendant, Hassan Karaka, who was 23, who was convicted of having an offensive weapon and handed a 12-month community order. The raiders had driven down in convoy from Sheffield on October the 22nd last year in order to steal 167 plants being grown at a disused shop in Ladypool Road in Birmingham with an estimated street value of around £100,000. In the early hours of the next day, one of the vehicles went on a scouting mission before six people armed with weapons including Mayala who had a loaded shotgun and Karcher went down a back alleyway leading to the shop. The prosecutor said the gang had bought white sheets with them to take plants away and had taken some time using items including a sledgehammer, a crowbar and bolt cutters to break down an iron gate in the alleyway. They had been joined by four others who then also forced open a fortified rear door to the premises. Unbeknown to them, someone who had been inside got out through the front of the shop by lifting the shutters and alerted others whose crop it was. As a result, an Audi A6 arrived at the scene carrying a team of men, also armed with weapons including machetes. The prosecutor said Mayala had been seen leading the group with a shotgun held at waist height and had shot the victim who had confronted him before backing off. She said on the jury's verdict, they must have determined that he accidentally shot him within three to five seconds. The court heard that Mayala fled with Karka but later he shot himself in the lower leg and had to be taken to hospital. During the incident, Yeslem appeared to have been cornered in the alleyway and he hid by climbing on a roof. Karka boarded a bus back to Sheffield before going to Ireland where he was arrested while Yeslem was, on April the 13th this year, arrested at Heathrow Airport after travelling back from Cairo. The judge, in passing sentence on Mayala, said, By the jury's verdict, you did not intend to injure anyone but you deliberately armed yourself with a lethal loaded weapon. You played a leading role in this. This was planned and organised. It was conducted in order to maximise fear and a firearm was discharged. You acted as a group and you did this for financial gain. The defence for Mayala said that his parents separated when he was very young and that he lacked a father figure and that he was easily influenced by others. He went on he's ashamed about getting himself involved and he wishes he had never come to Birmingham in the first place. He also said he had aspirations to start up a fashion business. And the defence for Yeslam said although there was some plan, the raid had been unsophisticated. So guys, this is a new story coming from Birmingham. It's where a gang from Sheffield travelled down to Birmingham to rob a cannabis factory, but instead they accidentally shot one of the men that was in the factory and then one of the guys shot himself. Absolute madness. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked, keep it real.